the pen tool is one of the hardest tools to learn, I think, in all of the Adobe applications. Um, the good news is that it more or less works the same across the applications, and the bad news is that it will take you a little time to get familiar with it. In Photoshop, the pen tool is uh, located above the type tool, and if you click and hold your mouse on it, you will see uh, the bundled tools, uh, including the pen tool, freeform pen, add and delete anchor points, and the convert anchor point tool. Um, when you're working with the pen tool, you will probably just plot anchors going around your path, starting and ending in the same place. Um, you may engage the um, direct selection tool as you're working. And then when you're finished, you may, um, after you save your path, go back and add or delete anchor points. You will probably also engage the convert point tool while you're working with the pen tool. Um, remember that the pen tool is basically plotting a path for you and you want to think about this tool more as the drop anchor point tool than the scribble with the pen kind of tool. So it's not a tool that you use like a pen to click and drag around. In fact, if you start to click and drag, you're just going to get one anchor point with some bezier handles that are just spinning around. So that's not really going to help you very much um, to create a selection or to create a path. Um, I think of the pen tool as a way to create a selection, so in my mind I sort of combine selecting and pen tool into one concept, but truly the pen tool creates a path, um, and a path then later can be converted into a selection. So when you choose the pen tool, you see up here in op options you have uh, the ability to create a path or a shape. I usually just work with paths uh, personally and um, if you choose path then more or less you don't have to worry about these other options you can just get started. I would start and end in the same place so it doesn't matter where you start you just want to make sure that you finish your pen uh, path in that same location and you're just gonna click once to add an anchor point. Now if you have a series of straight lines you would just keep clicking to add anchor points. So if, uh, let's pretend like Dolly's hair was actually, uh, if you were a cartoon character, it might be more like this, right? So I can just click. I'm not dragging my mouse. I'm just clicking uh, and then moving my mouse and then clicking, and I'm adding anchor points. I would have my last anchor point be right on top of where my first anchor point was, and that will close my path, and you can actually see my pen tool has a little circle next to it to indicate that the path is then closed. When I have a closed path, I can look in my paths panel and I'll see there my work path. I could double click that work path and save it. Okay, and that would save my path in the paths panel. Now this is not at all what his hair really looks like. It was just a maybe a quick way for me to demonstrate the easiest way of using the pen tool. Um, in reality, and you see I just clicked, if you just click off of that path, you can you can disengage it or turn it off or hide it, I guess is the right way to put that. In reality, um, you will probably want to trace a contour that has some curves. And curves is basically where the pen tool starts to get tricky. Um, so here, um, what I could do is just sort of very quickly, maybe with my layers, uh, make a new layer, uh, I'll convert this to RGB so we can see uh, a color and uh, so we can see a color and I'll go ahead and just paint I'm just gonna paint very quickly um, you know this is sort of <laughs> jokes on me make sure my, my uh, mode is set to normal up here with my brush and uh, large opacity okay so that we can see what I'm doing so here's more or less what I want my pen to do and again I'll make sure I choose something we can see I want to do something like this this is what my selection or my path rather oops is gonna look like I didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to do that okay so you can see if I'm just freeform tracing here I'm kind of making a lot of mistakes and it's hard to go back and fix that line of paint um, in Photoshop uh, but with the pen tool, I can very easily modify my path uh, by moving my anchor points or changing the curve of the path by adjusting the bezier handles. So 
doesn't matter which layer is active because the pen tool plots anchor points that becomes a path that has nothing really to do with layers. Um, so I can just begin by plotting a point somewhere. Um, now, if I'm going to draw a curve, I will click and drag a little bit. And the direction that I drag will create the curve. Notice that my, um, my curve sort of expands or collapses depending on how I sort of stretch this handle. Uh, when I let go of my mouse, you'll see this is the Bezier handle. These two, uh, these two points on the sides here control the curve by modifying the handle. Now once I've drawn a curve, the, the path sort of has a direction, a natural direction that it wants to go in. So um, the path wants to go in the direction that this Bezier handle is sort of pointing in. So if my next click would be over here, that would kind of make sense and be a very easy um, path to make. I'll press Command Z to undo that because what I actually want to do is go up here. So I need to tell this path that I need to convert um, my point, my this, this second point from being a curve that would follow the natural progression to being an angle because as far as the path is concerned I'm making an angle to go up here. I'm, I'm kind of changing directions a little bit. Now I can't really see the contour of the hair because I've traced over it with red, but I'm just going to pretend like it does something like this. I know that's not exactly what it does. But notice again, I want this to next curve to do this, and if I click here, it goes the opposite way. Command Z. So I'm going to option click on the anchor point. That eliminates that leading handle, and then I can come up here and click and drag a little bit to try to fill that curve out. I'm going to do the same thing here, option click to delete that leading anchor, uh, leading Bezier handle, and I'm going to click and drag to add a curve that sort of matches the contour of the um, image that I'm tracing. Now this is definitely not uh, perfect, certainly not my best tracing ever, um, but I'm just going to kind of do a very modified version of this. Um, this is not what my uh, results file looks like. I took a little more time with that and I uh, traced over his whole head, but we're just going to demonstrate here how this works. So I'm option clicking. Every time you see the Bezier handle go away, I'm option clicking. And I can do Command Z while I'm working. Okay, so let's say this is something like what you actually wanted to have. Just pretend. I stop at the same place where I started and I'll go to my paths panel and I'll double click my work path. Okay, now I'm going to turn off that red layer that I made so that I can actually see what I've done here. Um, so here I had a little red line over this so I couldn't really see what was going on there. Notice if I use my direct selection tool I can sort of um, I can click on my path and I can really see where all those anchor points are. And I can pick up an anchor point and move it. I can pick up this anchor point, for instance, and move it. Um, and I could go back with my pen if I wanted to, and I could add an anchor point. So I could add an anchor point there, let's say, and use my direct selection tool and move it. I could add an anchor point there. And I could actually click and drag if I wanted it to be a curve, or just click once if I don't necessarily need it to, to change, right? I don't need it to modify, and just drag that into place. I have a Bezier handle, so I can also drag the curve into place. Now look at how the Bezier handle ch makes makes my curve change direction here. Um, I would then have to sort of correct for that, so I could use my Convert tool, and I could convert this. Um, and I could move along across the whole image, um, modifying and correcting uh, what my path looks like. So this is not... Uh, complete, but it gives you an idea of how to use the pen tool. Um, over here I have my my path that I've just created, and you can see in the bottom of the paths panel you have some icons. I always do this just with the um, control key on the PC and click right on the icon. You'll convert your, your path to a selection. Um, now this is where you can use your path basically as a selection, um, and then in the layers panel if I wanted to I could go to that background layer and add a mask, and that would mask uh, using my path as a selection to mask whatever's on the layer. So that's maybe getting a step ahead, but 
um, really makes things a lot easier in terms of looking at ways to um, hide and show parts of an image uh, for the purpose of collage.